All right, what's going on, fishing fam? Welcome back to another episode. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. I just got to thinking the other day that I haven't done a how-to or a tip video on the PB rat yet. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, guys. Right here we got the two-piece PB rat. Right here we're gonna be talking about this. We're gonna be talking about how I use it, um, what I throw the lure on, what situations I would throw it in, and uh, you guys stay tuned, stick around. Look at the frame. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that frame. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, so if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jason, this is my channel, and uh, we do bass fishing, catfish, bluegill, multi-species. So if you guys enjoy that type of content, you might wanna consider subscribing, hit that like button, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. We're trying to make this channel grow, guys, so by doing all that, it's gonna help me out, and I appreciate you guys so much for that. All right, guys, so how I work the PB rack. So in most cases, most situations, I throw, throw wherever I'm throwing the rat at, next to a rock pile, maybe a submerged brush, grass edge, anything like that. Most of the time, how I work the rat is I'm gonna cast it out, let it sit for about two to three seconds, just steady retrieve. You're gonna reel that thing in, steady retrieve, and it's gonna do this. It's gonna go like that, just a steady. And most of the time, they'll, if they're there, they'll come up and they'll smash it. And if you don't, it still looks cool fishing it. I mean, if I was a fish, I'd hit it. Right. There he is. Right over that rock. Keep him down, keep him down. He's a good one. He's twirling in, he's twirling in. He might have got hooked funny. Yeah, he got hooked funny. I got him. There he goes. There's a rock in the water, see it right there? As soon as I went over that. The second way that I work the rat, if I see a nice piece of structure where I think there's a bass sitting there, say a rock pile, throw it next to a rock pile, let it sit there. Basically, you're gonna let the rings dissipate. You're gonna wait about five seconds or so, and then I'll give the rod a couple twitches, twitch, twitch, or crank the handle, half turn, make the rat twitch side to side, in place right next to the structure. And then after I twitch it a couple of times, I start to slowly reel it in. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's why we grind, boys. Yeah. Oh my god, bro. Look at this, guys. I haven't got bit for four hours. Look at that. Look at the eyeballs. Look at the frame. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that frame. Oh my gosh, dude. And make it just do that natural. It's gonna clack, it's gonna make noises, and it's gonna draw that bass out. He's gonna smash that rat. If, he, if there's a bass there, they're gonna smash it. The third, the third way I, I work this lure, cast it out there, you know, deep water, next to structure, throw it out there, just start cranking it down. It'll go under the water, probably, two feet or so depending on the line you're using two to three feet and just steady crank it right under the water sometimes they'll hit it that way so that's the third third way that i'll i'll work the rat oh my god when i was waking it when i was waking it dude Jesus. Oh guys, we just got another solid one on the PB rack. And the tails that I use on these, this right here is just a homemade tail that my friend gave me. It's white on the bottom. That's all that really matters. That's all they see is that white on the bottom. Some brown on top. But you can use Senkos, Robo Worms, um, 
Zoom Trick Worms work really good on it. They have a nice action, super durable. And then if you want to change the tail, there is a screw lock inside right there. Just take the worm or whatever, put it on the screw lock, and you just twist it. Twist it on there just like that. And then see how I have, I have the white on the bottom. So when I'm working it, they're gonna see the white. White is a great color tail for dirty water. If the water's a little stained, there's a mud line. I like to throw the white because I feel like they can see it more when they when they hear the rat. I feel like they can see it a lot better. Um, if the water's super clear, there's no wind. I'll usually go uh, green pumpkin, purple, pink, something like that. Uh, the ro the purple mutilator robo worm works works really good when the water is um, clear. So those are the tails. Pretty much the tails that I like to use. I keep it simple, natural for clear water, natural tail, and uh, dirty water, white tail, so they can see it's something bright. My favorite size uh, PB rat is the two piece, the one I'm showing you guys. It just flat out gets way more bites. I've been in the boat throwing the three piece when my buddy's been throwing the two, pe two piece and he's just getting bit left and right and I'm grinding for like one or two bites. But with a two piece, it's just a perfect snack size. For some reason, they just destroy it. Uh, there's a four piece, I believe, but I don't think it's up on Tackle Warehouse. Honestly, I'm not sure. But um, you can find these at Tackle Warehouse. Just type in PB Rat. The line that I like to use right now, I have it tied up on 50 pound Daiwa braid. Uh, it's just, I like to use braid because it floats and then. If a fish takes you into a tree or something like that, you're more likely to get your get the fish out of there. When I first started throwing these, I was using 20 pound uh, mono and I ended up breaking my first rat off into a tree. So that sucked. Went straight braid ever since and I've been, I've been fine. If you do throw mono or floral, I recommend 25 to 30 pound, just cause you don't want to lose a lose $130 rat. You just don't want to, it sucks, trust me. The reel that I use is a Lose Super Duty 300 size. Got that 50 pound braid on there, super big reel. This is a six to five gear ratio, six five to one gear ratio. I like a little bit slower so I can creep the rat. This is a Dobbins Fury Series rod, swim bait rod. It's good for A rigs, glide baits. And I like the fast action rod. It bends really well. Um, if you have your drag locked down, you want to keep your drag locked down. Um, so the benefit of having that that faster rod tip is that it gives with the treble hooks. When the bass goes to pull, you have your drag locked down. So yeah, that's the rod, the reel, and the line that I like to throw the rat on the two piece. If you throw the three, you can throw the three piece on on that rod as well. Um, how to set the hook? How do you set the hook with the rat? So yeah, how I normally set the hook is you don't really need to wait very long, maybe like one second. As soon as they hit it, I just usually pull back. You don't have to set the hook super hard. I just kind of usually, they hit it, I just kind of pull back and start reeling. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's, It's not like you gotta wait a real long time or anything like that. They hit it, pull back, start reeling. Keep your rod tip down, crank them to the boat as fast as you can. Hopefully you have a net on hand because they will shake the hook, guys, with that big bait on the outside of their mouth. They keep them down and just crank them in, get them in the boat. You don't want to, you don't want to lose a giant. There he is. Got him, flip him. Go flip or die. Go flip or die. That's a nice one, G. That's a nice one, G. Baby. That rat, guys. That's a nice one. That. Yeah, he's a dark know. one. Yeah, For here, he's dark. He's bigger than that, dude. Yeah, he's just skinny. So the best time that I like to throw the rat, early in the morning, you want to get out on the water, start out early. 
target structure, rock piles, brush, trees, submerged trees, submerged structure, oh, grass. You can throw in grass pockets, grass edges in the morning, best time. Also, don't be afraid to throw it um, when it's windy, middle of the day, I've caught in big ones. Big ones in the, right in the middle of the day when it's super windy outside. You just throw it the rat gets bit no matter the conditions that's pretty much all i got for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the tip videos if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit that like button and uh, get in the comment section let me know we'll do more tip videos but until next time we'll catch you guys in the next episode peace Finally. Barely popped it. guys sir first fish of the day for me see you later buddy oh yeah G Came out of the water for it. Roasted that thing. I knew I was going to get hit right there. No barbs. Got to play them out. That was cool, dude. He like came out of the water for it. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Choked. Nice little guy. Rat victim. That's all they want. That's all they want. I knew it. Dude, a little shade pocket right there. Followed it out. I knew it. I like paddled over to get closer so I could get in there. Ah, popped off. He ate it off the tree branch. That was crazy. That was crazy. I was snagged on the tree branch and he came up and smashed it. That was nuts. I got that on camera too. Damn. They're in the shade, dude. I threw in that little pocket but my line got stuck on the tree and I was trying to pop it off and he came up and smacked it. Dang, he's a little bit fatter one. Oh yeah, he's healthy.
this healthy one. See you later, buddy.